Hello and welcome back to another week in my life vlog. I am still in Gainesville. If you watched last week, you saw that I am on my hospital rotation in Gainesville, Florida for the rest of this week and then I go home. I was gonna start the vlog this morning, but uh, my car wouldn't start. So, turns out, randomly, I needed a new car battery. So, $300 later after everything, I mean it was like, I think 280 bucks. For everything, I have a new car battery, my car is started, it's fine, knock on wood. I mean it has a three year warranty now on the battery, but I'm just like, this is not what I wanted to happen. But, it's fine, it is what it is. I am making lunch right now. I stopped at Walmart on my way home from the OR today. I had a full day in the OR and I stopped at Walmart to get more freezer meals because in this hotel room that I'm staying in, I only have a microwave <laughs> and I'm tired of like eating out for every meal. So we picked up some, today I'm having buffalo mac and cheese for lunch and I'm so excited. It actually looks so good. So that's what we're doing and I'm gonna chug water because I am extremely dehydrated from just not drinking enough water while I'm here. I can like feel my muscles cramping up, honestly. So after I eat, I'm gonna do some stretching because I've been working out in the hotel gym like every other day and I am just like, I'm sore. My muscles are hurting. So I'm gonna eat. I'm like 94% of the way done with my book on my Kindle too, Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. Looks like the cover looks like this on my Kindle. Um, I was like up reading last night until way too late, but I was like, you know what? I don't want to finish this tonight. I want to savor it tomorrow. So we'll read a little bit, stretch. Um, I've got some computer work to do, just like random tasks, like every day. So I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna be the most exciting vlog. You guys saw last week in the Gainesville vlog that like I'm just here by myself, getting work done. But I figured I'd pick up the camera so that I'm not just alone, you know. I figured I would be a little productive in vlog. So I'm gonna eat my food, I'll show you guys when it comes out, and then we'll get a move on. It is, what time is it right now? I think it's like, yeah, 4.30. So this is like, my eating schedule's all messed up too with he being here. Uh, I'm like not in my normal routine because we don't really eat when we're at the OR all day. So if I don't eat breakfast, I'm like starving afterwards and then, I'm like eating a late lunch, early dinner that then I eat like a late second dinner. I don't know. But let me show you guys this because it smells so freaking good. It's literally buffalo chicken mac and cheese. Here's the box, I'll show you. And I mean, I wouldn't say it looks like the picture by any means, but it still looks pretty dang good and it smells amazing. Look at that. As far as a microwave frozen meal, and this was like $2 or something at Walmart, I cannot complain. I'm very excited to eat this. So, let's go sit down, relax. I'm listening to my audiobook right now, but I'm probably going to switch it to Traders Season 2. I finally started that. So, let's do that, eat our food, and then we'll come up with a game plan for the rest of the day. But I just wanted to say hello and start the vlog. All right, it's a little bit later. I'm feeling very groggy, like I could literally go to bed and it's 6 p.m. So we're gonna go to the hotel gym and just get a quick like full body dumbbell workout in. Um, I just threw on my Amazon biker shorts, this random t-shirt and my hokas, my suitcase area. This is a mess, um, but it's an organized mess. Like I know where things are, clean clothes, dirty clothes, it's fine. We only have a couple more days. So, I'm gonna bring my water and we'll go get a workout in. Actually, I'm gonna fill up my shaker bottle with um, an isopure protein scoop and water and I'm gonna bring that to my workout and then I'll just fill this up when I get back. But that is what's happening here. I just did a lot of stretching and I feel a little bit better and my legs and lower back. Um, but I still need to do like a little bit more. And my plan is, God willing, that I do not get called in to the ED. <laughs> my plan is to take a nice shower, wash my hair, do all of the things, and then, you know what? Should I wash my hair tomorrow? I'm like thinking out loud because I have to wear a scrub cap in the OR tomorrow. I'm wondering if I should wash my hair tomorrow night instead. Cause I think tomorrow's my last OR day. Hmm. 
we'll see. We'll see how sweaty and gross I get and then decide if I wanna wash my hair tonight or tomorrow night. But either way, we're gonna shower when we get back and put on our PJs, do our skincare, even though it's early and just like relax, read, get some computer work done. I have a to-do list right there of things I need to do. Maybe we'll do some coloring to relax, um, all the things, but enough procrastinating. It is time to go work out. Okay, so I finished my workout, but before I shower and get all cozy and get into my pajamas, I think my headphones fell out of my bag yesterday in the resident room, and either that or they were taken out of something, either my hotel room or my locker, which I think is unlikely. I think they literally fell out of my bag yesterday because I had a bunch of stuff in there. And I just like, I don't know, I have like, a very obsessive personality when I want to get a task done or when I can't find something or like I just feel like I won't be able to relax tonight until I go and check which is so annoying because I don't have any like calls in that I have to go in for right now but it's like I just feel like I won't be able to relax until I find them so I think I'm going to throw on scrubs just in case I get called in go look for my headphones and then come back and hopefully Hopefully they're there. I'm praying because after everything happened with the car battery, you know when things just like keep going wrong in a day and you're just like, I've had enough. Can we stop this? <laughs> That's what I'm feeling right now. So I really need those headphones to be there or I might have like a slight little menti B, like a little mental breakdown. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm gonna change out of my workout clothes. There's throw on scrubs, head in there and I will talk to you guys when I'm done. And here's to hoping that I have my headphones. <laughs> Okay, good news, I found my headphones. They were there and I didn't have to stay for a call or anything. Bad news, Sean just called me. Our AC might be broken at the house. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, I can't make this up. Here's to hoping the rest of the night somehow goes smoothly and the AC is fine and maybe it just needs like cleaned out or something, but he says the house is really warm right now, so. <laughs> what is in the air today it is crazy but I'm all showered I decided to wait to wash my hair till tomorrow but I took a nice hot body shower and I am like kind of almost ready for second dinner I don't know like I told you my eating sorry I'm like pacing back and forth I'm trying to figure out where my slippers are um, I like it's been a few hours since I've had like my late lunch, I guess. So I could make another frozen meal here, I suppose. Um, I don't know. I'm just looking to see which one's highest in protein because I need quite a bit of protein right now. It might be this one. Yeah, all right, well, I'm gonna have this cordon bleu mac and cheese in a little bit. I'm not gonna make it just yet. Probably make it in like a half hour. Maybe I'll lay down and read my book for a little bit just to calm my frantic mind with everything going on. And then we'll come back and make a late dinner. So frozen dinner number two of the day is this cordon bleu mac and cheese. Again, doesn't look like the photo at all, but looks and smells really yummy. So. I'll take it and it has like 36 grams of protein or something. Um, I'm adding more books to my Kindle because I just finished Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter and it was very dark, but really good, really good. And also it is wild that there's a character named Lexi Fuller in it, but it's spelled L-E-X-I-E -E instead of L-E-X-I. Like I spell it, but still super weird to read Lexi Fuller in a book. <laughs> but I am gonna download these and eat my food and then we'll figure out what I'm gonna read next. I'm not sure. I downloaded a couple of books onto my Kindle, so we'll see what I wanna start. But I'm gonna eat and then we'll figure that out. All right, vlog. I'm gonna brush my teeth and head to bed. Good night. I'll talk to you in the morning. Good morning. Ugh. I'm extremely tired. It was very, very hard to get up this morning and it is in the 30s outside, 30 degrees, 
8, I think it said. That is so cold. So cold. I know, I'm from Buffalo, Erie area. Like, I should be able to handle it because I lived in the cold for my entire life. But, like, uh -uh. We're done with that. So, like, I don't, I don't have a coat. Like, this is, this is what I got. So, that's amazing. Um, OR again today. And I think I'm just gonna grab coffee from the hotel lobby and head out because that's all I have time for. I might bring a snack, maybe my protein puffs or something. But that's what we got. So. TTY, I'll talk to you guys after the OR. Hello vlog, I am back home. So I had the OR today. It was long, but it went well. Let me start the shower so it gets warm. Um, it was a long day, but it went really well. And then I went to let me come out here. Then I went to Bole for lunch with a couple of my co-residents and it was so good. They filled the bowl up like all the way. I just, I love Bole. If you've never been, I highly recommend. We don't have one in Fort Myers or Naples. The closest is like Tampa and Miami. So whenever I'm anywhere near one, I need to get it. But it was so good. And then we went to Barnes and Noble. It was the grand opening today of their Barnes and Noble in Gainesville. So we went to check out the store, the books, everything. It was really crowded because they literally opened today, but I just love a good bookstore. I love looking at books. Even though I'm a Kindle girl, I just, something about a physical bookstore, the best. So then I came back home. I've been calling family members and just like catching up with people. I'm still in my scrubs. I need to shower and wash my hair and just like take a nice relaxing shower. And then I think I'm gonna make some food and do some computer work. I need to answer emails and I have to do some trip planning for our wedding itinerary and everything like that, our honeymoon basically. So lots of work to do and it's already eight o'clock. So we need to shower quick, make some food and then get some work done. I ended up just having a protein shake because I wasn't that hungry because I had such a late large lunch from Bole. So just some snacks and then a big lunch, but I'm just not that hungry. So I'm going to head to bed. This whole eating schedule is all thrown off. Like I'll eat a little bit for breakfast, then I'll go to the OR all day. Then at like four or 5 p.m. I'll come home and have first dinner. And sometimes I'm hungry for another one. I mean, this one was a huge bowl at Bole. So a protein shake it is, but I am heading to bed. It's late. I got all my computer work done and everything like that, but it was just a long night. So I'm looking forward to going to sleep. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. We are off for the day, the usual. Just navy scrubs and one of my scrub jackets. It is like 7 a.m. so I need to get a move on. It's almost, I think it's 7.30 now. I need to get a move on for the day. I will try and maybe get some clips if I can since I'm not in the OR today, but we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. I'm tired, can't think right now. Hello, I am back home. It's a long day today. It's 5.15, I just got back to my hotel. Yes, I'm wearing the same pink sweatshirt, but it's not getting dirty because I'm literally not leaving my hotel room. Don't come for me. I did not bring that many sweats, okay? But I made a cup of coffee from the hotel lobby because I'm literally falling asleep. And then I popped in the buffalo mac and cheese meal. So I'm gonna stir that, put it back in the microwave, and then my game plan is to clean up this stuff because I leave tomorrow. I have to check out tomorrow morning, so I'm gonna pack everything up tonight so that I can just chill, hopefully. Um, at least that's my plan. Knock on wood if we don't get any calls tonight, but I'm so excited to go home. I miss my house, my pets, Sean, just everything. My body is aching from just like sleeping in a bed that's not mine and honestly not having the hot tub, which is like such a first world problem but I didn't realize like how good it really was for my muscles and working out until I didn't have it for two weeks and I feel like my whole body hurts. So I'm very excited to be back home, um, but I have a big mess and the microwave is yelling at me. So let me stir that and then we'll 
pack everything up. Only one more night of only frozen foods that go in the microwave, but I do, I will say I do like these meals. Um, drinking my coffee, some water, and I think I'm gonna put on Trader's season two while I eat. I pretty much got all packed up. It actually took me like five minutes, thanks to packing cubes, but that's that. Say hello to the vlog. Did you edit that out? I didn't put that in. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> he was singing a made up song, you guys, and you missed it. Well, uh, hi. On a scale of one to 10, how excited are you for me to come home? Very excited. Can't forget to empty the fridge and freezer tomorrow morning when I leave. But I realized I had one more kombucha. So we're gonna open that, or sparkling probiotic drink. We're gonna open that and drink it right now. It's the grape one. Sean's still on FaceTime singing. It tastes like kids wine. The Welch's sparkling grape juice. That's what this tastes like. Got some computer work done. We're gonna watch a movie. What movie are we watching? Um, Alone. We're watching the movie Alone on Netflix. It better not be like too uh, scary. That's how I feel right now. Alone. <laughs> you didn't answer my question. I said on a scale of one to 10, how are you excited? And you said, very excited. Uh, Probably a 6.5. That's it? That's not very? That's like slightly more than oh. average. You gotta remember, I went like two months without seeing you one time. Yeah, but... You're... That was like an 8.5. He's such a liar, you guys. He's literally put himself into a clinical depression today because I'm not there. Don't let him fool you. Not clinical. <laughs> not clinical. <laughs> not clinical. Alright, we're gonna go watch our movie, TTYL. Good morning, I literally just rolled out of bed. It is time to get ready, pack up the full hotel room, check out, and go to our last day of our Gainesville rotation, and then I have the long drive home. I'm pretty sure it's raining outside, and it's going to be raining for the next 24 hours here and at home, so lots of driving through rain and things like that, which is not very fun, but that's okay. Time to change into our scrubs and head out the door so i will talk to you guys probably when i'm driving home later last hotel breakfast waffle sweet home it is raining but I don't even care I'm just so so happy to be back in my own house Sean is at work unfortunately so I won't see him till tomorrow but I did reunite with the girls and they are so excited how happy are you that I'm home girls okay I promise they were excited huh are you so excited that I'm home yeah uh, I came home to a lot of packages so why don't we do a big old unboxing and we'll open everything up. I'm gonna like actually unbox everything so that you guys don't have to watch me like cut tape and then we'll go through all the packages together. But I'm so excited. It literally feels like Christmas and I cannot wait. Some things I ordered myself and other things were sent from brands. So let's do it. Everything is unboxed. Let's do it. So first I'm gonna start off with, I don't even, I'm just gonna go. I'll tell you what everything is from, if I ordered it, if it's PR, if it was gifted, all of the above. So first I ordered these off of Best Buy. They're just Apple AirTags. I don't have any of them. And this is a pack of four. They were on sale on Best Buy for like 20 bucks off or something. So I got these for traveling just to like put in suitcases and bags and things like that. And probably one in Sean's wallet because he's always losing it. But I just don't, I don't have any Apple AirTags and I feel like so many people talk about them and how useful they are. So I got these. Then I also ordered on Amazon this fun little handheld camcorder and an SD card. 
and I will explain what this is for. It's for something very exciting. I will explain what this is for later, but I am excited to try this out and see how it is. Um, it was 65 bucks, like so cheap and easy, and then a memory card to go with it. Great, my battery's blinking. Crisis averted, I switched over to my big camera to keep going. So, next we've got, next, I'm so, so excited. Pila phone cases, which you guys know are my fave. They sent over some new phone cases. So this one is like a light pinkish nude and it has wine bottles all over it. I'm obsessed. This one is like fruit. It reminds me of the Matilda Jerf, the Jerf Avenue like pajamas and robe. I think it's so stinking cute. And then of course, some seashells and cowboy boots. Love, I'm actually probably gonna switch over into one of those cases tonight. But if you've not checked these out, they're sustainable. They always have sales right now. I think it's buy two, get two free. Um, and I have never had a phone break in these cases. I will be 100% transparent. This phone broke in a Caseify case. And I know a bunch of other people who have had the same thing happen, including Sean, but I have never had an issue in my Pila cases and they're cute and sustainable. So do with that what you will. I have a Pila link. I will leave it down below. I'll leave any discount codes to this stuff down below and I have codes to almost all of these brands. So if you are looking for something, definitely check it out. Next, this is from Scene. It is their new Unseen Pimple Patch. Dermatologist developed, safe for sensitive skin. I love a good pimple patch. If I have anything brewing on my face, I will pop one of these on. One, they cover the pimple and you can't really see them in public, especially with these clear ones. Um, I've never tried this brand, but I've tried plenty of other clear ones. Two, they help to make the pimple go away. And three, they help from picking it and like touching it and popping it. So I'm obsessed. I have not tried these, but I'm very excited to do so. Next from Burst Skincare, we've got some goodies. I have been wanting one of these for so long. It is a dermaplaning tool. So like a little tiny micro razor to get rid of like just peach fuzz and just like other stuff on your face. I'm obsessed, a reusable handle and then two blades. So I'm gonna try that. This is their Doctor's Visit Instant Resurfacing Mask with AHA, BHA, and pineapple enzymes. So a little mask. We all know how much I love my face masks. Probably maybe try that tonight. This is Guards Up Daily Mineral Sunscreen, SPF 35. Love a good sunscreen, especially a face sunscreen. So I'm excited to try this. And then last but not least, I love the way this looks. It is their Purest Antioxidant Cleanser with Superfruit and Aloe Leaf Juice. So a little cleanser. Thank you, Versed. I am so excited. I've tried their products before and love them. Next, another skincare brand is from Ren Skincare, and they sent this cutie little package over. This is the PHA Exfoliating Facial. It says, proven to brighten, smooth, and refine skin texture instantly. Meet the ultimate two minute triple action PHA Exfoliating Facial for even the most sensitive skin. Very cool. All right, so we'll give this a go also. I'm gonna take it out of the big box. Next, on the same realm, we have another skincare package from my absolute, one of my faves, First Aid Beauty, and I'm so excited. I have not, so these are the facial radiance pads. I know and love these. I have used these before and used them on a regular basis, and I love them. These I have not tried. They are the bronze and glow drops with niacinamide, safe for sensitive skin. They're like like a face tint, but with like bronzy glow to it. And then this is the brightening glow eye cream. I use this every night. So very excited about this package. Thank you for Save Beauty. These will definitely go to good use. If I can get them out of the box. Oh my gosh, now this battery is red. I am not doing well. Uh, YSL sent over some, these are their Love Shine Lip Oil Stick. So it's their lipsticks that are like shiny and like glossy basically. So they sent over four of these. I'm very excited to see what the colors are. I'm gonna open them in a little bit. I'm trying to go quickly now because I don't want my camera to die. Next is feet. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know I'm obsessed. They have like those comfy sweat sets that I always wear and I got some goodies from them. So I think they have a huge sale going on right now too. So check out the link for them. 
I will have a link down below, but I'm obsessed. Their stuff is so comfy, so cute, so soft. I get compliments every time I wear it and it lasts. Like I've, I've had some of their stuff for years and years and I still wear it, wash it, and it looks great. So these are some joggers. They're so soft and comfy and they're like a camo color. I have these in blue and like a nude and I wear them all the time. Next is this cute little sweat set. It's a quarter cropped little quarter zip that looks like this. And again, soft, comfy, and it has matching joggers that go with it. Very excited about that. And then the last item that I got from them is actually for Sean. It is this green, I think this is his first feet item. It is this like green button down, um, shirt and it's really really soft nice thick material i feel like for just with jeans and his cowboy boots this is going to be really cute he needs more shirts like that and things to just wear to dinner and whatnot next more skincare and i've actually never heard of this brand it is mco beauty it's australian but it says now available at kroger fred meyer ralph's Fruz, smith's and affiliated stores so it's an australian beauty company First of all, the package is so cute and pink. They sent this like cute little news, pink newspaper with the package. And look at all these goodies. Like, can you believe it? So we've got instant glow primer. We've got super glow bronzing drops, super glow blush drops, souffle dream moisturizing cream, brow and laminate sculpt and set, hair and brow, Magic Wand, Lip Lights Shine Gloss, Extend Lash Tubular Mascara. It says this is their number one best-selling mascara. Um, Highlight and Glow Beauty Wand, Instant Contour Cream Bronzer, Soft Matte Beauty Wand, Glow and Treat 2-in-1 Lip Treatment, Lip Oil Hydrating Treatment, and Cheek and Lip Tint. So they've got a bunch of shades and all of this stuff. So this is like a little sampler pack of all their stuff. So I will definitely let you guys know how I like it and I will be trying these out because I've been wanting to try like bronzy glow drops. So I've got some from First Aid Beauty now and those ones as well as the little like wand. Like Charlotte Tilbury has one, Elf has one. I haven't tried it for contour or anything like that. So I'm very excited about that. And then last but not least is from Pavoy. So they are on Amazon, actually they're a brand on Amazon and they sent me some goodies. So first is a little jewelry item and it is so cute it is rose gold it's a little necklace that is an l and you probably can't see it that well let me show you like this it is so pretty a little like rhinestone l it's rose gold and they had so many cute jewelry options on their website and then the, oh, the next two items that i got are actually workout clothes my camera battery died so i replaced it with a new one let's see if we can finally finish this unboxing haul so I got this straight across sports bra um, I've been wanting a bandeau sports bra for a while so I'll probably take the straps off of it and see if it like stays up when I work out I always see girls on Instagram wearing them and they're so cute but I'm like is that gonna be comfortable or is it gonna fall down but sometimes if I'm doing certain arm workouts like the straps are annoying so I'm excited it is Sean surprising me at home that was shocking. I thought somebody was breaking into our house. But anyways, the last item in this big unboxing is this little workout biker set onesie. Um, so it's navy blue, super cute. I'm excited to try this on also. Hopefully I don't look stupid in it, but that is everything. So thank you so much to all the brands that sent stuff. And again, I will have all of these things, like any discount codes or links that I have with discounts down below for you guys. It's a lot of goodies. So now I need to put all of this away, unpack, do the laundry. I think I have to switch the laundry and we're gonna relax for the rest of the night. Lola, what'd you do to your foot? Oh, she's just chilling under the table. Bye.